using an iPad for years now, around four or five years, and I haven't used a laptop outside work since then. And I had an Android tablet and the Windows laptop for my own personal use before using the iPad, and it's the iPad's performance that made me stick to it. I cannot even think of anything now that I used to do in my laptop that I cannot do on my iPad. So, does this mean an iPad Air can replace a laptop? Now, let me show you my setup. I am using the Moshi Versa cover. I used the same case on my old iPad Air 2 until I traded it to this iPad Air 3. I scoured around different shops to find the same case. I really like the slim factor and the kickstand that helps turn this iPad into a coat-on-coat laptop setup. And here's a bonus. The magnet on this case is crazy good. I stick this case on the side of my fridge to, let's say, watch some YouTube videos while I'm doing something in the kitchen. I use the kickstand most of the time, whether I use the iPad on my lap or on a table. This also makes it easy for me to go into a productive mode when I need to. And to be more productive on some tasks, I use my Logitech Bluetooth keyboards and M337 mouse as my work mode buddies. The M337 mouse batteries last for around 2-3 to three months, but this is from using it mostly on my work laptop. I don't use the mouse too much on my iPad though. With iPadOS 13.4, the mouse gestures give me a different user experience that it will be easier and faster for me to use the touchscreen instead. As for the keyboard, I've had this since 2017. The K380 battery life is crazy good. I haven't changed it since I bought it. This K380 keyboard gives me a better user experience when I use it on my iPad compared to the mouse. Typing is much easier than using the on-screen keyboard. The function keys work, though they are not customizable. The connection is stable when using this at the same time. There's no lag or disconnection that happens. In fact, using these two Logitech devices on my Windows laptop at work gives me the same experience and performance. The battery of my iPad decreases as it should be, but I cannot say it is because of using the keyboard and the mouse. When I use the Apple Pencil to journal or draw, the battery drains faster. The screen display turned on most of the time, I believe, is the main cause of draining the battery. Overall, the iPad Air 3, even if it's not the latest and strongest iPad model, it runs well, smooth, and fast. I rarely have apps crashing, freezing, or slowing down. I use my iPad for drawing, browsing the net, reading, watching a lot of YouTube while multitasking with chats on the side, and this iPad and my iPhone are my sole devices for creating my YouTube videos. Suffice to say for me, this is a very capable device. So can the iPad Air replace a laptop? Well, if we do the lap test, I don't like using the K380 keyboard on my lap. I prefer my K480, which is very stable to use, typing is good, and the built-in stand transforms this iPad better into a laptop mode. As for the mouse, I need time to get used to the mouse gestures. Maybe yes, the iPad Air can replace a laptop to some extent and for some people, but for me, the iPad is an iPad. There's just these functions that make the iPad unique. And at this time, I'm not looking for a laptop anytime soon. So that's it. Thanks for watching.